This is a silvered brass dial from about 1840 um, with a slightly grained finish but the silvering is very distressed so this is the process of re-silvering. First the dial silvering is cleaned off using wet and dry paper, abrasive paper. I use 400 grit. Um, I prefer this. That sometimes I use 600, but in this case, as the dial has a grained finish, 400 grit will suit the purpose much better. You just work away at it with the wet and dry until all of the original silvering is removed. This is halfway through the dial, the cleaning process, and to maintain the slightly grained finish, I only work in a vertical direction until all marks that shouldn't be there are removed. As you may see, that uh, is coming up rather well. I'm here using a proprietary sanding block, a foam sanding block, uh, which has two different faces, one fine and one medium, in order to get a straight grain finish as per the original just to finish off On this dial the uh, the engraving and waxing was in good order. Uh, normally after this part of the process I would re-wax and, uh, and clean that back afterwards as well. But in this particular instance it is fine. The next stage in uh, silvering a dial is to apply the new silver to the freshly prepared brass surface. Uh, this is the way I go about it. First I take a quantity of the silvering powder and uh, a small piece of cotton wool which uh, I just dampen slightly in water. Not too wet. It's nice and damp to make a, a solid pad and I take some of the silvering powder and we start in a circular motion working it onto the surface of the dial. It takes a little while for a, a kind of creamy consistency to set up. Once it starts going you can actually see it depositing the silver. It looks more white than silver at this stage. You don't have to press too hard, but you just work at it steadily. You want to be able to feel a, a slight abrasiveness to the 
cotton wool pad as it's applied and you just work at it steadily and from time to time add a, a touch more water to the pad just to keep it damp not wet but reasonably damp Work your way around the dial face, dipping the damp pad on the silver and powder from time to time to keep it charged. It's a matter of fairly diligently working away and ensuring that the whole surface is coated. The final application each time with the silver is to, in this particular case, is to finish with the grain of the previous sanding. The finishing powder is a substance called potassium hydrogen tartrate, uh, which for all intents and purposes is cream of tartar. And once this has been applied and has stabilised the actual silver coating, um, that's rinsed off ready for a final coat of lacquer. Immediately after silvering, a, uh, a coat of silvering lacquer again from one of the major suppliers will preserve the finish and uh, retard any oxidation on the dial surface there we go. And on the bench, the finished article.